force someone to buy something, it's not valid. <coughs> and then you should say, if you force the husband to be Kadesh, it's not valid. He's saying it's not so. Hainu mishun d'leknot by ratzon tfei. Because to acquire something, you need more dot than you do when you're selling something. Okay? That we talked about that. V'chol shebal korcha lo kana. Okay? Aval kidushe isha. Yeah, we're finally waiting for somebody to say this. Eino kinyan legabe baal. It's not a, the baal. The baal doesn't get anything. Right? Eino kinyan legabe baal the name of the lo kana. You say that it didn't have enough dot for a Kenyan because in acquisitions you need more dot, right? She says, but he didn't acquire anything. So then you don't need more dot. Okay? The Rashba elsewhere actually says, Gabe, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this sugya, but it's worthwhile just to spend this uh, moment on it. Gabe am Kadesh Bahanat Milve. Okay. Haramat Ribit. Okay, what is Mekadesh Bahanat Milve? A man lends money to a woman, and he says, "Haret Mekudeshet Li Bahanat Milve Zo," not with a loan. That's a different issue, but with what you would have paid me or paid someone else to convince me to procure the loan. That's called ribis, right? Paying someone for a loan is ribis, correct? So, Mekadesh Bahanat Milve, the Gemara says, Harezo Mekudeshet, but it's Haramat Ribit, it's Ribit Midrabana. So, the question is, why isn't it Ribit Midoraita? Because what's the, what would the Ribit be? He gives a hundred shekel, right? What does he get back? The hundred shekel is a loan. He gets back a hundred shekel plus a wife. The wife is the ribis. Okay? So, the Rash, so that's the Haramat Ribit. Okay? So why isn't it Ribit Bamash? So the Rashba says, the Katav Sham, Hadalo Havi Ribit Ktsutsa. Why isn't that Ribit Midoraita? Bezed the Kona Isha Baham Tanat Maot. Mishum de Engufa Kanui Lubal, the Lav Midi Shaka. Because that's not Ribis. Ribis is when you get some financial, you get some financial benefit. So here, you don't. Okay? The, I'm going to say this parenthetically. The Ritva says that the reason it's not ribis is Misha Kana Isha La'atzmo Kana Adon La'atzmo. So you actually, okay, that's, that's supposed to be fun. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, what? What'd you say? Don't be feminist today in the uh, more, okay? Um, you can have a little bit of Chushumar. It's more interesting, okay? So, um, but the Rashba says that there's no financial gain. And in order for it to be considered repeat, you need financial gain. Okay? So what is the, how does it play out here? He says, V'kevan she'ein gufa kanui l'baal, ve'ein bekidushin ki'im she'neesra al yado l'chol ha'olam. That's what a Kenyan kidushin means. That by virtue of him, she's asura. That's not a bad definition, right? It's not financial at all. And since it's not financial, the parallel that, we've been, that we're making between, well, in, in um, Kinyan, you can't force. You need, you need a higher level of dot. So therefore, in Kiddushin, you should also, when you talk about forcing the men, you should need a higher level of dot. It's not true. So precisely because, and this doesn't necessarily logically follow, he says, but it's already possible to draw the distinction, precisely because there is no legal acquisition in Kiddushin, just because in Kenyan you need more dot does not mean that the, the husband needs more dot because he's not acquiring anything. So since he's not acquiring anything, dot is sufficient. You don't need ratzo. So he he made a chiluk in the bala iter. It's his take on the bala iter, not like the Rashba, but his take on the bala iter is lulei the Rashba. I would say. That you, can, that you could say she is not Mikudeshet, not because the Kinyanim are different, but because there's, he's not Kona anything. Okay? Okay? 
Kavan. Um, all right, so that's a. Uh, all right, and he says it again. Kavan, the ain isha b'torat kinyan the gabe baal, the ain gufa kanuilo, the ain lo zchia b'gufa isha. In kain tamadish omrim the lo mahani but ansu lekadesh. Mishum da afki in rabban le kiddushin mine. So really that should be kiddushin. Why should it be kiddushin? Because you don't need a higher level of dat. Even if in Kenyan you do need a high level of dat, and slayu vizavan, it's not good. If you force them to buy, then it would be no good. But in the case of kiddushin, it should be good. So then if it should be good, so why is she enemy kudeshit? What does the yesh omim hold? Only because afki in rabban and kiddushin mine. So this, so this is the this, so the machloket. The way he understands the chel, he goes with the chelkat and kokeik in the end. That the reason is afke inu rabbanon kedushimine, and not because the kenyan is different. Okay, yeah. This is a hard discussion for me. I feel like there's that neither n- none of the positions here have behind them some sort of understanding of what marriage should be about or is about. This is an incredibly technical discussion, right. and I feel like we're entering into this discussion because we're worrying about meta issues of what should marriage be about and how do we want to design marriage. And, you're, and what we're doing is sort of digging out very, very technical um, readings of people who, to say that marriage doesn't require what so because you're not because it's not purchasing anything. Okay, so hold on, we didn't finish it. Okay, these are those. No, it's, it's in, what? It's in order to init- people enter into all sorts of relationships that they're not necessarily happy about, but they still make decisions to do it. Right. So there's a, there's an acknowledgement of that reality, and that legally it takes effect. You might not be happy about it, right? And the person themselves might not be happy about it, but as they say, zemashayesh. Sometimes, right? I told you that political cartoon about the last person in East Germany. You tell that? There was in the in the late '80s when the when the, when the Berlin Wall came down. So there was this political cartoon in Newsweek, right? And everybody was before the wall came down. So people were escaping from East Germany through Hungary into the West, right? So it was a political cartoon of a guy sitting in a baked cafe with a girl, and she, he looked like a bit of a zlub. And she looked more or less put together, and she was quite unhappy. Her face showed that she was unhappy. And the caption read, Remember you said you'd only go out with me if I was the last man in East Germany? <laughs> right? So, some, but she decided to go out with it. Right? I'm not going to give a drush and, you know, Bava Basra and Kiddushin from uh, her block from Newsweek in 1988. But, you know, but that's what went through my mind then. <laughs> in other words, it's... <laughs> sorry. Right? So that... People are in situations which are bidiyevid. In those bidiyevid situations, they make decisions which are binding because they want them to be. They're not happy bad. about it. That's the distinction between dat and ratzo. Okay. Now there's another. Um, this. What? It's not so long ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just spoke to a friend. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's a. Yeah. There's no. Okay. Look. Failure. What? It's not, you know, it's not just Jane Austen. You know, they, they, it happens. They, Life is complicated. And, you know, you get lucky, you get unlucky. And we're not going to... No. Okay. Um, the, um, in a sense, the disconnecting between Kinyan and Ishut, which the Avni Milun does... You, you don't have to accept his conclusion, even if you accept his assumption. His assumption is right, that there's no kinyan. It's just iser, which is created by virtue of what the uh, by virtue of the maaseh kiddushin. There's just an iser which is created. There's no kinyan at all. Okay? that's one. That's his assumption, which is not shared by the by the other Rishonim, um, by Rishonim, he's an Ahmed already. Um, but what's his? What's the second? What does he say as a consequence of that assumption? 
What he says is that since the husband isn't kona anything, but there's just the creation of Isser, we, um, we accept a lower level of dot in order to create that situation. That second assumption, I don't have to accept. Whereas the fact that, that Kiddushin is different than Kinyanim and this creation of an Isser, I'm not talking legal. I'm not talking about the, the content and the emotional content of the marriage, right? We're talking about, well, you usually get to the law and everything else breaks down. You just want to know what it is legally, right? We're not talking about the emotional side of it, okay? So the, um, so just because I say there's no um, financial content to the change of status, but rather it's just Isser, it doesn't necessarily follow that I require less dot for that. All it follows is that I'm not bound to whatever I do require by Dine Mamonot. But I could take it Lakula, or, or I could take it Lakhumra. I can say you need more dot for that. I just a priori. It's just looking at it without looking at the source, of just thinking about it. Right? I can accept what the Avni Bloom says, but not accept his conclusion. Okay? Where do you. What? Wouldn't we want to look at at, at um, halot of nadarim? What? What? Wouldn't we to 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 understand what kind of dot is necessary for the acquisition for the for the creation of iser? Iser, we would. It seems like nadarim would be the would be the obvious address. Um, that could be. That's very interesting because the Gemara compares kedushin to hektesh. Is what you mean? Asar la kule amon kehektesh. Yeah. So then, right, there would be room to explore it that way, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. There are places where nidra hektesh. Right. Action creates iser. Right. Um, and the question is there, what type of dot you require there as well. Um, that would, I want, I want to point to a different source here to deal with that. Yeah. I don't know how you could say there's no Kinyan. Doesn't that contradict the Gemara? No, it, the, what he's saying is that the, the, the term Kinyan only refers to the action which is done, but not to the content of what happens. Content of what happens is Isser. So it's a Kinyani sword, something new, something different, he's saying. There's, but the Kinyan does not precipitate any um, type of ownership. It's not commercial. It's not commercial. Well, he does own, meaning he's gained a huge amount of control over her. But that's not ownership. She also very often gains control over him, right? But that has to do with the personal relationship. No, he controls that she is not allowed to sleep with anyone else. All right, so and that's he, an issue. He, so he's entered into this relationship with not taking it very seriously. I don't want to put I don't want to put the, the, the legal person on the couch. I think that's just not what <laughs> we're doing here. No, Rachel, Rachel, no. I, I don't want to put the legal person on the couch. Okay. So but the, it does jive with yeah. the Gemara because because like it's not Haish Kone. I think that's kind of yeah, it's Lashon Miknet. So it could be um, which is where Tosfot says the. The hektesh, I mean... That, when you talk about asal kuleyam al hektesh, that clearly it takes it outside of kinyanim. But even the language of kinyan, what he's saying is that it's not financial. The consequence is not a financial. It might be control, it might be all sorts of things. Now, she can't be with anybody else, but that's iser. That's what he says. That's iser. And the fact that he controls the heter through gerishin is also something. But it's not a, it's not a financial kinyan. It's a different kinyan. He controls, let's say, put it this way, he controls who she sleeps with. Or that she can't sleep with anybody, except for him. That's control, but that's not financial control. It's a different type of control. So that's a different Kenyan, okay? Um, all right? Not okay, I'm not okay. Okay? <laughs> not okay. Um, okay, let's take a look. Now this is relevant to... Um, I just want to, yeah. while, we're, while we're in the things that are not okay, also... <laughs> The whole year, yeah. In, is, is the, if we want to look at it as a financial, if we're trying to look at it through financial glasses, it's not clear like what side of the balance sheet it goes on. He has, to, he has, he has people to support. Like what? He, he's, he's, but he is acquiring obligations. Those obligations have financial value as well. But there are obviously financial ramifications Clearly they're for being financial married, right? What I'm saying right? is, that, it's, is the, that it could go on. You could argue that it goes in the other column. 
Meaning he's not acquiring that. anything except obligations. That's what the Ritva says. But you say That's what the Ritva says, says in a sense. Mortgage. But he says yeah. it much more well, starkly. There's, there's accounting that happens. It's not, it's not an obvious... If you tr- even try and look at it as a financial transaction, it's not obvious how to look at it. It's not like... Right, but the, again, the financial transaction, the financial part of it, right? And obviously, again, there are obviously financial parts of marriage, <laughs> right? Are ancillary to the status issue itself. Okay? In other words, aside from the fact that they're married and she's an Ishat Ish, whatever that means, right? They also that he has his he has Chayv and Sher Ksutva Ona, right? That's that's Midoraita, and she's Chayevet Midrabana, and if you look in the list, right? Yitchayevla, who Yitchayevla Midoraisa, but three things and another ten things Midrabana, and he Mitchayevet Lo, right? And there's the list, and all the things that she's Chayevet Lo are. Um, Adurabana, right? All the malachot, right? All the things that we're not okay with, right? In the, in the Mishnah, in, in uh, whatever, in uh, the fourth parak of Ksubas, right? Um, the whole list, Mivashelet, the whole thing, okay? But that's ancillary, okay? It's not that it doesn't form an important part of their lives, but it's not the legal definition of what it means to be an Eshet It's the ramifications of that. Well, okay. I mean, I, Hold on. Let's take it. I I know. I just wanna I wanna like look at it with open eyes instead of getting angry about it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Look, there's there's a little bit too much weight on the question. It seems like the the big well the hell, it seems like there's a whole range of people who do say it, it can be reduced or directly compared to a financial situation. And the other Miluim comes and says Miluim comes and says no, it cannot be directly compared. So there so that itself is being held in question. Do we say this is that the acquisition of a wife is acquiring something which is analogous to, to let's not. say, or not. So he's saying it's not analogous at all. The, he, the, the, uh, the, the Amin Ulum is saying it's not saying, analogous at you all. You can't compare at all. Right. There's a whole range of people who up until they make said, it, you can. Including the Gemara of Pashtas, right? Right? Okay. Um, the, the real problem, it seems, me is the is that the man the halachically the man is the one in control who can oh, the only person in control who can undo correct right that, that's the problem right. but that that doesn't have to be because he financially owns her he has some sort of a kinyan where he's <laughs> he's the one that creates the the iser right and he's the one that can undo the iser right okay let's take a look here how do we know that you need da'at bichlal in Kiddushin. We're talking about you need da'at, the Gemara assumes you, you need da'at, okay? Um, and we're talking about you need da'at, you need da'at in Ratzon, okay. But how do you know you need da'at at all? So here we actually have a steer in Rashi, and it's actually very informative. If you take a look, um, Gemara in Kiddushin, on daf, uh, on daf Tet, Gemara says that you need dot in the um, writing of a star kiddushin. Okay, you clearly need dot in the you need lishma. The you need the husband's dot when you write a, a get. So the question is, when you write a star kiddushin, do you need dot of the woman? Right, what if the Shtar Kiddushin was written Shalom Lishma? Right, Git didn't have to be wooing. We learned Git and we'll see. Git didn't need to be written Lishma. Okay? Um, the question is, is Shtar Kiddushin doesn't need to be written Lishma? So the Gemara says in the end, V'yatsava uh, Haitab, this is a hekesh between Gerushin and Kiddushin, Mekish Havaya Yitzia, Ma Yitzia Ba'inan Dat Makne. He's the makna in Yitzia, in the get, so you need his dat. Af havaya in Kiddushin, ba'in and dat makne, and that's the woman. So shtar Kiddushin needs to be written bidat makne. That's called dat makne. Now, why do you need the dat of the woman? So look at Rashi. Dat makne, talking about Gerushin here. Hainu baal, shekne ota. Beget ze la'atzma ulefotra mimenu to sever the relation between them. Uba'in sheichtov mi da'ato v'dichti v'katav la. Okay, afkan da'at makne 
דהיינו האישה שנקנית לבעל, so she's the דעת מקנה, she's מקנה herself, okay? And what is קידושין דמידעתה? Look at the next Rashi. דבאינן דעת מקנה. Where is דעת מקנה? דעת מקנה of כל התורה כולה, right? That goes back to the, equa- back to the equation, right? Just like you have דעת מקנה if I want to sell something. So she's quote unquote selling herself. The reason you need דעת is because you need דעת מקנה whenever you מקנה. So when, you ma- when she's מקנה herself, albeit in a different way, but it's still a Kenyan, and you need Da'at Makneh. There's no Chiddush in the Torah that you need Da'at of the Isha, which is unique to the laws of Kiddushin. It just fits into the regular laws of Kenyan, that you need Da'at Makneh. That's Rashi in Kiddushin. The Gemara in Yevamot, or Rashi in Yevamot, the Gemara says as follows. Um, um, it talks about Yibum, as I said, does not require Da'at. Okay? Um, so the question is, um, in the case of Ma'amar, all right, I'm not going to get into the details here, it's a little too involved, but the Gemara makes a comparison between Dat in the case of Ma'amar and Yivamot to the regular Kiddushin. So it says, Gamri mi Kiddushin da Alma, ma Kiddushin da Alma mi Da'ata, af Kiddushin di Yivama mi Da'ata, okay? So what does Rashi say? Kiddushin da Alma, Valcha v'hayta le'ish acher, midata mashma. Isn't that amazing? That should be amazing. That's amazing. It's totally different than the Rashi in Kiddushin. Why do you need da- Why do you need the dat of the woman? Not because dat maknev kolator kula. You need dat of the woman. It says v'halcha v'hayta. It's mashma. She went of her own free will. She got divorced, right? 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 She, she left the house when she wanted to leave the house. Right? So from there we learn that you need the dot of the woman because So, first of all, these two Rashis, if you want to take them as a stira, so they have two different opinions here. Is the necessity for dat the way the Rashba understands it? That there's an equation between kinyanim and ishut. And just like you need dat by kinyanim, so I don't need a separate source to tell me that you need dat. In a sense, that's the way the Rashba asks the question. How could anybody think, right, the, our Gemara, the Gemara and Daph Bedam and Bet, how could anybody think that the Isha could be Mikudeshet Baal Korcha? Since when do you have Hakna'a Baal Korcha? Right? That, that the foundation of his question is draws from what he knows about Choshen and Mishpat. Right? So that fits with the Rashi and Kiddushin. How do you know you need Dat? That's Dat Maknev, Kola Torah Kula. So then the Rashba's question is in place, and the answer that the Rashba gives is still within that framework. That you don't need Dat the way you think you need Dat in Kinyanim either. Right? That's what the Rashba answers. Rashi and Yavamot is different. Rashni of Amot, how do you know you need that? It has nothing to do. It means we would have cut the Rashba's question short. We said, of course you need that. How could the Ech Yalela Dat, the Kimimimimimimimim Shishal Shalomi Data, it says, Val Chavaital, Yishachet. Not because it says any, not because Dat Makne. Okay? So Rashi in Yavamot is much more like the Avni Miluin, and Rashi in Kiddushin is like the Rashba. Okay. Is, now, is, what we could say... Is the Rashi in your remote, is that, is that, a, is that a, uh, a hekish? Like, what's, the, what, what's he doing there? Uh, that's just to see the Gemara. The, the Ma, the, 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 just the Gemara makes the statement. Okay? The Gemara makes the statement to be data, and Rashi says, how do you know him data? Well, Chavay Tal Okay? One could say that the two Rashis are not so tear one another, but they build upon one another. And accept the assumption of the Avni Miluin, but not his conclusion. Because the assumption of the Avni Miluin is that there's no real Kenyan here. And therefore, you don't need the same level of Dat that you need by Kenyanim. That's what the, that's what the Avni Miluin said. One could say, and I'll tell you why I'm saying this. Let's take a look at the Ravid. Okay? And this will finish up right now. The Ravid says, 
Let's go back to the Rambam Raivin. Right to so the Raivin in Hilchot Ishut, Perak Aleph. Perak, I'm sorry, Perak Dalad Alacha Aleph. That was in the extra Mikoro that I sent you, right? Yeah. So the Raivin says. That's the Rambam, right? That the Kiddushav Kiddushin, if you force the husband. Yes? I won't say okay. Are you with me? Okay. Amar Avraham, v'hu shiomearotze'ani. We said this is like a middle position. Okay. So the Ravid agrees with the Rambam that she is, that if you force the husband, she's ena mikudeshet. I'm sorry, that she is, I apologize, that she is mikudeshet, even if you force the husband. But, on condition that he says rotsani. So now, let, let's do a little targil. What, w- what would an analogous case be if we forced someone to buy against their will, right? So, what, what would we say? That the, the sale is valid, okay? If you want to make it parallel, okay? But we would say it's only valid if he says, Rotsani, we nudge the guy to death to buy the thing, right? He says, okay, I'll take it, right? As opposed to not saying anything and just walking away with, the, with uh, you know, they took the money from him and he just, they bought it, right? But he didn't say, okay, right? So look at the Rambam in Ilchot Mechira. Misha ansu ad shemachar. Okay? The next thing, Ilchot Mechira perik yud. Misha ansu ad shemachar. Not Misha ansu the Kadesh, where he's coned, um, right? Misha ansu ad shemachar, vilakach dmei hamekach. Okay? He took the money. Afilu tlauhu ad shemachar, Memkaro memkar, baby metalta baby mekarkot, shemipne on so gamaru makne. Okay? So, mish, so, achimachar. So, who's the mocher here? In Kiddush, it's the woman, right? So to speak. Alpha pish lola kachadum if neadim. The fichach ima samu da kodem shimim kor. Okay, then he says, um, Amar Avraham, Ta'aba Zeh, let me see if I got this here. Ta'aba Zeh B'divrei Arav, Shehu lo amar el af al gavdi b'sha'at ha-tliya v'ha-mechira lo arts le-zuze. Ela levasof mechira hi. Ula olam tzirik shi'itain b'fnei edim. Di lo matzi amal lo yavli midi. No, one second. The Ramam does not talk about a case of lokeach, right? Misha ansuhu, memkaro memka. In the case of the Isha, it's not because of afkinu, right? But meikara din, it's the same, according to the Ramam. Yes? Mm-hmm. The only reason by the woman she's eina mikudeshit if they force her. Because of Afka Inu. If it wasn't for Afka Inu, then she would be Mekudeshet. Right? And you see that in the case of Mechira, it is a good Mechira. Right? Okay. The Rambam is consistent that way, and he doesn't require Rotsani. Okay? Even if he doesn't say Rotsani. And the Ravid does not require Rotsani here. Right? The Ravid, so if we take the Ravid, it's a little difficult, I just want to say this up front, to argue from silence. Okay? But, the Ravid in Kiddushin says you need Rotsani in the case where you're not going to say Afkinu, right? In the case of the husband. In Mecher, you don't need Rotsani. So what does that mean? That means you need a higher level of ratzon when it comes to Kiddushin than when it comes to Mechumemka. Okay? 
So maybe we can say Rashi is saying two things. Rashi is saying that in addition to the level of Ratzon that you need, because it's like Mechumemka, it's Dat Maknev Kolatarakula. But there's more Dat Makne that you need by Ishut. And that is not the, that cannot be derived from Kinyani. That is derived from Vahalchava Haitali Ishacher. This is not Rashi, is this or that, it's this and that. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm accepting the assumption of the Avni Milui that Kiddushin is something else. Okay? But it's not something else that you need less dot. It's something else you need more dot, is what you're creating here. And you need the dot of the man and the dot of the woman, right? Because they're entering into a relationship which involves primarily, as far as we're concerned, Isser, in terms of halachic, what it, what it contains. It contains Isser, it doesn't contain Mamon. And that requires a higher level of dot, not a lower level of dot. Intuitively, that makes much more sense. And when I saw the Avni Luim, I liked the basic assumption, but it doesn't follow that, so therefore you need less dot, it's not a Kenyan. But it's, but it's something much, it's different than a Kenyan, but it's something which in terms of, where do you have more dot? When you get married, when you get married, or when, even when you buy a house? Where do you have more dot? How much did, how much did you deliberate? And how much did you agonize, right? right? How, much did, how much dot do you have when you're standing under the chuppah? Much more dot than you have when, right? So you require that, it's a different level of dot. Okay? So you know, I can accept the, the, the assumption of the Abne Miluim, but I prefer to take it in the opposite direction, in your higher level of dot. So what we have here is as follows, really three possibilities, Begadol, right? Either you make it parallel to Kinyan, something analogous to Kinyan. Nobody thinks that it's financial ownership, but it's something that's analogous to financial ownership, so therefore we can bring proofs from one area to the other. And in terms of what, what, what exists in Kinyanim, it's also not clear. There may be a distinction in terms of the level of dot required by Mechira as opposed to, um, which is less than um, the level of dot required by, to acquire something, okay? Um, one may, to acquire may need dot and ratzon, but to sell may well, only needs dot, okay? So then, uh, based on that, you can make a distinction, if you're willing to make the parallel, between the dot required for a man and the dot required for the woman. The man is acquiring, so he needs a higher level of dot. The woman is being makna, she needs a lower level of dot. Now, this whole thing is, is problematic, even if you want to make it parallel. But the dot that we're talking about is different, like what should make her want to be married is different than what should make you want to sell something. Even if you say people sell under a certain type of duress, they don't want to sell, right? But, so you say, a woman gets married, and go with the chazakas of, of the... Of the of the Gemara, right? Tav lemet of tandu lemet of armalu, right? So that tells you she should want to get more, you should need less dots, but she Mustama wants to get married, so you don't need the ratzon because tav lemet of tandu lemet of armalu. Or you tell me masha ish rotzali sa isha isha rotzali nasei. These type of chazakot, right? So, but they don't they don't do that, right? They're just stuck in this very literal um, more dot less dot, okay? Based on what happens in Kinyani. Again, so you can be that in different directions by what happens in Kinyanim. Or you can go in the direction of the Avni Miluim, that we're not talking about a Kinyan Mamuni at all. And therefore, first of all, there's no comparison, so you have, you're left on your own to decide. Right? So you can either decide, well, so it's not Kinyanim, Kinyanim, you need Dat here, you don't need Dat Makne. So it's enough to have Dat, but you don't need Ratzon. Okay? Or you can say, no, even if in general in Kinyanim, you need, you need, uh, you need Dat is sufficient, say. But in Ishut, because what you're creating is much more severe, you need a higher level of Dat. There you need Dat and Ratzon. Right? And that's how you may understand Rashi, and you may understand the Raiva that way also, where in Ishut, he says, right? It's not enough that, if it's, that, it's, that we assume that he agrees. He has to display a higher level of Dat. He has to agree explicitly. Right? As opposed to Mechlemepka, there there's no necessity of Rotsani. There, the assumption that he got the money, that he that he walked away, that that he accepted it. Okay. Say. Right, stop here. So next week we'll talk about um, Amira. And Amira is important in terms of it's also connected to this because Amira is an expression of dot or what the function of Amira would be. Okay? Alright, let's take a uh, five minute break.